Hey everybody, it's Party Elite here with another episode of my Clan Moore's Quick Head Taker Mortal Empires campaign, and I am feeling fantastic. You know why I'm feeling fantastic? You know why I'm feeling so good? Because this is episode 26, and you know what that is? You know what 26 is? 26 is 13 times 2. So, this should be another wonderfully lucky episode for the Skaven you would think, but the way episode 13 went, that if I recall correctly, that was pretty terrible actually. So hopefully it's nothing like episode 13, but episode 26, it's been going on for a while now. That's about, that's approximately 26 hours of playing, and I think we've done pretty well for ourselves. Now, really quickly, I wanna mention, there have been some great name suggestions over the last couple of episodes, but this week has been uh, just a nightmare for me actually. It's been a really busy week, and I just haven't had the time to sit down, pick and choose, and assign names. So I'm looking at them, I'm watching your comments. I always read comments, but I like to take my time to respond to them. You know, sit down, have a cup of tea, and, and feel like I'm talking to you guys. But uh, I just haven't had the chance to put in the names. So I'm sorry about that. That will happen hopefully next session, because I'll have the weekend to do it. But in the meanwhile, there was an interesting piece of feedback about doing a bit more of a recap uh, of a session, I guess at the beginning and at the end, which is a great idea. So let's do a quick recap of our situation at the start of this uh, of this session. We've got uh, this situation over here, where uh, Dorthu and his forces are moving in from the south here. The Beastmen fortunately moved in and took care of Lucini, so that's good. Um, but I have to deal with this Chaos Army that's coming in, Rulek and his... Uh, actually, this shouldn't be too tough to deal with, I don't think. But I've got... The Medicine Wartime here with a relatively capable army, hoping to take care of both of these invading forces uh, with relative ease, maybe? Or it might completely obliterate those armies, who knows? Last session we did finish taking Akendorf, and we've got some great name suggestions for it, but it did fall. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a crash, so the, the glorious victory I won for Clan Moors was a waste of time. But we've still got the city, that's all that matters. Leopold the Silver here is going to recuperate, hopefully, and then we're going to move in against Migdal Vongalbarak because uh, Karak Hirn is back on the uh, on the campaign map. They've they've made a return, so going to take care of that nonsense. While down here we have this dwarf army of Ulrich Brightax moving down south, possibly to deal with the situation over here, and the situation over here uh, is a little scary. So the dwarfs have. Uh, cleaned up some of the chaos armies here actually they did quite well there was a huge clump of like there was like four full stacks or something over here that they uh, wiped out these guys so good job Grimrindal thank you very much but up here Al Haik just fell <laughs> and uh, these guys are uh, that's a that's a tremendous force that's terrifying so it's highly likely that these dwarfs are moving down south and maybe I shouldn't intercept them and let them go south and prevent the uh, warriors of chaos from coming in but there's also a chance that Queek Headtaker is going to pop out of Barat Dawazbog and uh, and wipe this army out. Either could happen. And then, I think finally, I want to say, we've got Skeksik the Slave Lobber recruiting a brand new army so that he and Queek can maybe push up here and take care of this last stronghold of the dwarfs in, uh, in my little corner here. Uh, with all that said and done, that's a bit of a long intro. Let me know if you guys would like more recaps or not, uh, because they do take a touch of time. With that said, though, Let's move on. I think we've done everything we can this turn. Just have to hit end turn and let the end turn cycle phase through. We're going to kick it up to full speed. Don't really need to watch everything. Uh, I have seen some suggestions about uh, getting that mod that speeds up the end, tur end turn camera. Sorry. I've, if I'm not mistaken, the reason why that goes so much faster is because it reduces how often the AI makes diplomatic uh, like attempts or, or communications with the player which is not something I want. This is also not something I want. This is... This isn't what I had in mind at all, <laughs> in fact. God damn. Uh, would I be able to defend against this? They've got some iron breakers, which is a bit of a problem. Hammerers, these are some really high tier units. Also got a sky hammer. Well, I wouldn't be me if I wasn't trying. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna knock this up to four. And, uh... Yeah, we're going to take this to the battlefield and see what we can do. All right. If I was a betting man, I would say we've lost this battle for sure. But despite that, I'm going to give it good old college try. Let's let's see what we can do here. Oh, boy. Not much, I reckon. All right. 
We've got our front line set up, more or less. We've got these guys who are going to get absolutely destroyed by the Iron Breaker. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to have these guys up front, hopefully absorbing a lot of those uh, blasting charges. These guys right back here. And then try and come in from either flank. This is a really messy deployment, but that's mainly because I have little faith in how this is going to progress. Uh, where is that Skyhammer? There it is. Just want to be wary of that and the uh, Scolder Guard as well. Their range. Hopefully. Oh, okay, well. oh man, that thing's gonna destroy me. All right, move, move, move. Go, 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 go. Oh, they've got an. Oh boy. So I have to be aggressive as well. Great. This is terrible. There's no way I'm coming out on top here. Where is the... Is that over there? Okay, dive in there. Hold this in place. Push you guys up there. Okay. Okay, get you in here. Oh my god. That nonsense got taken care of right away. Alright. Not surprised. Ugh, iron breakers. Why are you diving into melee? Okay. Let's make sure we don't get hit by the bombs. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, that's not so bad. Where are we? Come on. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay. These guys are back. Whatever that means when there's only like three of them. Oh, this is terrible. This was a waste of time. Let's try and get rid of that thing, at least. See if we can remove that so that when we're fighting them next, it's not so bad. This is going to fall apart right away. Come on. Yeah. Of course it's going to run away like a coward. Sure. Decisive defeat. I'm not surprised. That was... I stood no chance there. Those guys took barely any hurt. That was a waste of time. Oh, boy. All right. Well, at least now I have a stronger reason to deal with these guys harshly. They could have taken this turn to continue south, and they would have been fine. But no. They had to turn back north, and they had to uh, attack me. Terrible. Terrible. I didn't stand a chance there. These, these Iron Breakers, they're, they're, a, they're a tough nut to crack, to put it lightly. I only lost 46, yeah, so... That was rough. They didn't even take the city. At least take the city. I want to see if I can wound that guy. Is he just falling back? Damn it. I want to at least wipe that army out. Alright, what's going on? Let's speed this up a little bit. The vampire counts are getting stronger. Or maybe I'm just getting weaker. Who knows? How much do they sack it for? Oh man, that's actually a fair bit of money. It's fine. We'll be fine. Our economy is pretty strong. I do wish that uh, I got that trade alliance, trade pact back with these guys. I understand they don't want to trade with me because I'm unreliable. I don't know where they're getting their information. I'm 100% reliable. There's not a single alliance that I have broken my word on. Not once did I ally with, for example, the Wood Elves, only to break that alliance shortly after. It never happened. So I don't know why they're being so ridiculous. But whatever. Let them have it. Okay, at least these guys are suffering from attrition, so there's that. That's always it's always nice. Attrition is, is great. Attrition's fantastic. Alright, what are you guys up to? Moving in towards Zandri. Oh no, why are you moving north? Don't move north. <laughs> I'm so worried about this chaos invasion. 
because I'm spread pretty thin. I've been trying to build walls all up and down my uh, perimeter here, but my, my armies themselves are spread quite thin. All right. Warp tech, can you wound this chap? That is a very low chance of success, so we're not going to try it. What's the corruption situation here? All right. At least it's going up, so there's that. Leopold the Silver... Oh, I could say he's... No, he needs some time to replenish more of these plague monks. I can't rush that. That, that army will get destroyed, I think. But we can chase after uh, Ulrich here with Queek's army. Seek vengeance? Sounds... Sounds about... Right. Uh, no, no, no. What I need is... I need... need walls what I need. Alright, let's let's upgrade Akendorf first so we can get walls here. Right, and here's the deal with the quest battle before I send Queek up there. If I'm not mistaken. So there's the Queek, the quest battle. I almost said Queek battle. There's a quest battle here. To teleport here, it costs I think 5,000 if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'll have to get him out of the... Come on. Alright. So, we're going to pop him out, and if I'm not mistaken, it costs 5,000. Oh, it only costs 500. Did they change that, or am I just going crazy? Well, in that case... In that case, okay, let me... Let me take care of this army over here. Let me get a couple more walls going, and then we can maybe head south and take care of that this turn. Sorry about that, guys. I legitimately thought it was a uh, it was a five thousand uh, gold cost. I wish I'd known it was five hundred because that is significantly cheaper. All right, let's increase the uh, opportunity to assassinate, perhaps. Sure. Why not? I mean, I could actually send him in against Durthu for potentially. Wow, no, I couldn't. 8% chance of success, that's nothing. Oh, I wish we could have peace again. If I had my way, the wild hunt would trample you into the earth. I will not. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, all right, we'll have to eliminate them. Vampire counts, you guys want to trade? Speak thy words. Oh, I can make so much money. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I should have been a bit more careful about my, uh... I'm so used to not caring about diplomacy because of the vampire counts and, and Skarsnik, you know, greenskins, whatever. Alright, so this army has crept up all the way here. That's a little scary. Where are they planning to go? And can I defend myself? Hmm... 3,000. I might have enough after I defeat that army over there, so that's fine. And if I defeat this army over here as well, I should make a pretty penny. Alright, so first things first. We're going to send Queek to fight Ulrich Brightax. It's an ambush. Uh, kind of want to fight this. Just for Yeah, we're going to take this to the battlefield for vengeance for Queek. All right, not gonna gamble that. Just start deployment. It's actually a pretty rough map. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. We're gonna wait until they get into this uh, open space here, so we can actually use our range there. Let's get you guys over here. Make sure you're hidden. Okay, there we go. You guys right behind them. It's not like they have anything large. Okay. You guys can be over here. We'll send them in afterwards. Okay. This is our first group. Get these guys over here. Actually, get them up front. Make sure they're still hidden. Excellent. Weak. Rodent. And, of course, I forgot these guys. Fine, they can stay there. These guys, oh. 
It's tough because I want to fire away from the start, but they're going to form up over there if I don't hold my fire at first. But I can't keep this thing hidden unless it's by terrain, so let's do that over here and hope we can get some shots in later. Hmm. Maybe I should have just auto-resolved this one. Hopefully these guys are hidden. Get these guys up here. They can come in from the rear afterwards. All right. All right, come on. Just move forward. Don't worry about anything here, guys. Creeping forward, creeping forward. Hopefully they won't see me. Why are they going that way? Oh, they're forming up. Fine. All right. Gonna have to play this a bit more aggressively, I guess. Okay. Speed it up. This guy's back here. These guys over here. Get you over here. Okay. Getting closer, get some vision in there. Get you closer as well, and just fire if you can. Oh, so close to having clear lines. <laughs> this most certainly did not work in my favor. Okay, let's get these guys over here. Rodent, let's move you up closer. Okay. Okay, pop that over there. Trees here, not ideal. Okay, coming from the side. Have we already taken care of the no there it is. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I was wondering where the chopper was. Get you in closer, pop another one of these. Over here, get rid of those hammers. Use the rocket over here. I hate fighting the trees. And let's get you firing into this nonsense over here. Fire that. Right. Where is Queek? There he is. Queek. Uh... Alright, let's get into Ulrich here. Pop this over here, just try to finish it off. And why did this go off, actually? Alright, let's shoot into these iron breakers. A lot of tree cover, though, so... Might not work out. Alright, hit the Skolder Guard. Come on, come on, get that shot off. These guys are falling apart. Hold it in place. over here. Come on. Alright. No, that's not going to help me. Alright, fire away, fire away. I should have just auto-resolved this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this was definitely something I should have auto-resolved instead. Gotta get these guys to give up. Okay, you can stop firing, because I feel like you're doing more friendly fire than anything else. Like till 26. Okay, Ulrich has given up. Hopefully he'll die. If he doesn't, I don't really care enough to pursue. Alright. Damn, what did I lose? Hmm. What did I lose? Shouldn't have lost anything in that battle, that's terrible. 
Decisive victory. I disagree. Oh, it might have just been a lowly, like, uh, summoned unit of clan rats or something. Okay, that worked out. I mean, decisive victory. I'll take it. Need to be a lot more careful with the storm vermin with sword and shield when I'm fighting uh, hammerers and iron breakers and stuff. I need to stop fighting these useless battles just because of my emotions. <laughs> Literally wanted to take that fight to Ulrich just because uh, he sacked one of my cities. All those rat ogres did nothing that battle. I, I don't like forest. I, I don't like forest battles. I like the tactical element. I don't like visually. Just you can't see anything. Right. Food. Down goes that army. We got the scarecrow banner. Banner, excellent. And killed. Whatever. And well, I don't want to take a hurt army down for a quest. Right, let's get you into Varenka Hills. Heal up. And next turn. Next turn, I promise. I promise. Next turn, we'll we're we're gonna go. We're gonna go and uh, do that quest battle. Right now, I'm wondering if Leopold should actually come down to Barat Var and just in case these guys come up there. It's actually very hard to predict where they're going to end up. I'm not going to be able to build up my walls everywhere, obviously. These guys are happening. It's gonna take some time. Can't do this one. Boy. Meanwhile, the Menace of more time. you are going to dive into Durtha's army. And he's going to retreat like a coward. And so we're going to hit him again. We're going to auto-resolve this one. No need to uh, to fight it, especially with the uh, the garrison as well. So, auto-resolve this one. Hopefully we don't lose too much. Close victory. Mm. I don't know if that one should have been a close victory, but we'll take... Oh boy, we'll take the food. Tree Surgeon, oh boy, defeated Durthu, enables flaming attacks when fighting against the Wood Elves. That's actually pretty huge, Tree Surgeon, that's a, not a bad name. Alright, uh, Help Hit Attendant, that's fine, Scroll of Shielding, alright. The problem is, now I don't have... Oh, uh, you know, it won't be that long, actually. Scrawl's Replenishment Capability is actually pretty solid. Alright, might as well march back then. I was wondering if I needed to put him into a settlement and waste some time like that, but I guess not. Leopold, you know what? Let's let's move you into Barret Var. It'll be a couple turns before we hit uh, Karakirn's city, anyways, so might as well do that. Which lord hasn't moved? Just gets like the slave lobber, right? Right. Okay, we're gonna force march you. Over here, I guess. I don't want to suffer from attrition. I want to be ready for these guys. I want to move in if I need to. And what else? Let's upgrade this as well, I suppose. God. This damn walls. I should have been should have been building walls everywhere right from the start. Keep getting distracted by things like an economy. Alright. Ooh, you know what? Actually, so Black Iron Mine is far back enough. I don't think I need level 3 walls back there. But wait and watch. There's going to be like a massive rebellion. And, and I'm going to regret those words. I'm going to eat those words. Uh, we're fine. We're fine here, I think, for now. Krat Tommen. Krat Tommen. Ah, I think we're okay. Save that 2,500 for next turn. Warp Attack, you're going to stay here and spread... That corruption, so we're fine there. Ignore this. Oh, no. This can wait. This can wait. Because there's no chaos invasion coming over here, so... These guys can hang in there. Let's make some money, why not? Alright, now we're going to end the turn. And hope everything doesn't fall apart. Okay, just want to see what the dwarfs do, maybe. Actually, no. Don't care so much for the dwarfs anymore. I care more for the uh, Warriors of Chaos. They're the real threat now. I mean, I'd put my money on the dwarfs in this engagement. There you go. Boom. <laughs> Belagar Iron Hammer. Take them for the team. I need to wipe these guys out up here. Got three armies ready to go. Ready to go. More 
what else? Ugh, seriously. Something coming over there. These guys need some walls as well. Though if I'm not mistaken, that's a, a large settlement, so it already has some walls. Walls and towers. What is this? Oh, that's Karakir. For a second, I thought that was the uh, Border Princes, and I got really concerned that they made it back somehow. All right. I honestly have wars across the entire line here. Actually, no. No, there's a little gap there. And once I take these provinces, I don't have to worry about that. The Vampire Counts and I, we get along. We get along well enough. Hopefully I can make that last. All right. No! God damn. Can I fight this? Oh my god. I don't think I can fight this. I could try and cause as much damage as possible. But I don't think I stand a chance here. Hmm. Well, we're going to do this one. We're going to try and take this to the battlefield. I doubt we're going to win, but I need to damage this army to give some of my other armies a fighting chance. So, to the battlefield we go, and let's hope for the best. Alright, these crazy puppets of chaos. We're going to gamble this, hopefully up. Come on, baby, please. Come on. Give me something. Damn it! Oh my god, no, 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 no. Okay, at least it just stopped at five, so start deployment. Uh, we do have a Warlock Engineer, so that's going to be helpful. At least there's that. What isn't going to be helpful is having to deal with a Hell Cannon. There is space back here. Okay. There we go. So we're going to send you in to take care of the Hell Cannon. And in the meanwhile... I'm going to post up... Here, 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 and here, that's our defensive ranged force. Okay, you're over here. Oh boy. Is that everything? That's everything. Okay, let's see, uh, let's see what we can manage to do here. Let's see what we can pull off. Alcana's gonna... Oh, okay. Right, we're not all hidden. So some Chaos Spawn and the Hell Cannon are right there, okay. What's the range on that Hell Cannon? You know what? Keep coming at me. Oh boy. Oh god. Okay, that worked out. And let's turn off Skirmish as well for these guys and these guys. And Guard Mode. Keep that on. And let's pull in. Drop those Chaos Spawn, hopefully pretty easily. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Give up on this fight. Get away, get away, get away. Oh my god. He's falling back. These guys should drop soon. Trying a little flanking maneuver over there, I see. No, go this way, go this way, go this way. Oh my god. Get you post it up over here. Get you post it up over here. Oh, that was a bad hit. Chaos Source for a Lord of Fire. Morning, how worried I should be. Oh, God. Okay, get those guys out of there, hopefully. These guys are coming in. Fire into this nonsense. Oh, good, the Hell Cannon's just knocking down some trees. Fire away at him. Maybe we can take care of leadership. Keep an eye on that nonsense. Come at me. Come at me. Come on. Come at me. Okay, we're already st 
stuck up in here. These guys. Good, 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 good. Getting there. How are we doing over here? Keep falling back, come on. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's take care of that nonsense over there, hopefully. Alright, this should fall soon. Come on, pull back, pull back. That's a problem. That's a problem. In it comes. Oh, boy. Okay, keep these guys falling back. Okay, time to turn on skirmish mode. Let's see what we can do. Okay, pull these guys back here. Send these guys up front. Pop this over here. Hopefully that hits them. Right in there, and let's get uh, keep these guys occupied. Okay, that's dropping. Let's see if we can't get rid of their lord over there. Oh, this is not so hot. Get in there! Come on. God, these guys could just hold the line, that'd be excellent. Okay, that Sorcerer Lord is dropping though, and we're actually doing a fair bit of damage, so that's not too bad. Put you back, put you back here. Come on, get back here, come on. Okay, he's still dropping. That's good. If we could just get him to give up, that'd be excellent. Let's get a nice little rear charge going on over here. Pop this over here, I think. Ah, damn it. Pull him back. What do we have to over here? He's almost giving up. Come on. Get out of there, get out of there. Okay, pull these guys back. Push you into this engagement. Come on. Get you back in here. Get out of there, get out of there. Can we actually drop him? What? Chaos Trolls, damn. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, we're giving up. That's us giving up on the fight. Oh, if we could have just dropped this guy at least. Damn it. <sighs> well, we put up a fight. Apparently not enough of a fight, though. Decisive defeat, damn. Wow. Wow. This is going to be... Uh... It's not going to be easy. Let's put it that way. Granted, this isn't really a top-tier army either. So, that's okay. But uh, I need to get Queek in here. I need to get an ambush popping right away. Oh, boy. I mean, Leopold is nearby as well, so there's that. God, they burnt it down too. Those... God damn. Should have built wall sooner. <laughs> Mm, this is not good. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. Resource lost salt? No, no, no. I'm very salty right now. That There's plenty of salt right now. Okay. That's fine. Fortunate. War protect. Good for you, buddy. Alright. Damage wall success. Okay, great. Wonderful. Alright. Alright. Where are we? Can this army take care of that army? We don't really have anti-large. We have very little armor piercing. Oh, we've got these guys for anti-large, so there's that. Okay. 
Then there's this. Alright, let's see. Let's see what Leopold can do first. Can I seriously not reach him? You're joking. Stupid river. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to... Okay, let's get to... Where's it? 26%. Alright, ambush chance, 80. Let's get to there. Pop an ambush, see what we can do. And you are going to have to move into Barret Var. These guys are probably going to go up to Karat Angazar. We just needed one more turn. Oh, it's gonna suck so hard. I could get in their way. I could I could pop into Karadangazar and then Barrett Bar has walls and stuff, so you know that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move these guys up here. Okay. Okay. So he might go towards Zvorak, but if he does that, I'll have the Menace of Mordheim. Oh boy. Here. We got this Talayan army coming in as well. Alright, you guys need your help. Hit that. Get rid of it. So I can focus on this army. I love how I'm like diverting all my resources to deal with that army now. Do I need to bring Queek down here as well? I don't think I need Queek down there just yet. Not just yet. We'll see what we'll see what they do, and we'll move accordingly. All right, what's going on down here? Bitterstone Mar Mine is upgrading. Because these guys aren't that far away. They're right here. They're not that far away at all. All right. Marmadins, what's your situation? Leveling you up so I can build a wall there. Zvorak already maxed out. Okay. All right. All right. Or protect you. You're st still doing your business, man. You're good there. I wish there was an option to, like, fortify or whatever the equivalent is in... Uh, in Civilization, where you tell a unit to, like, sleep. It's either sleep or, I guess, fortify gives it, like, tactical benefits. You tell a unit to sleep. I wish I could use... You could tell someone to, like, get out of that list of, uh... Of prompts. I should actually check the cog wheel before I say that, because maybe that is a possibility. No, don't defeat my allies, too. Damn, the dwarfs are just making a foothold in the south here. This war is going to go on for a very long time. If this, like, if they allow this to happen. God damn. That's insane. Alright. Alright, moving on. Moving on. I should have seen what the Beastmen did. Nice try. Again, I'm guessing on Warp Tech. Somehow he's surviving. I don't know how, but I'll take it. Man. I'm really wondering if, uh... If I should divert some resources. Like, I feel like I need to make very quick work of the dwarfs up here, but at the same time, I'm diverting resources constantly to, like, new threats. For example, the wood elves coming in, or the, uh, well, now the Warriors of Chaos. Or I guess the servants or the puppets or whatever of chaos. Really makes me... Really spreads me out more than I, I should be spread. But I'm not willing to send Queek in to one of these engagements when there's a uh, Chaos Army right in that little pocket there. So until I deal with that Chaos Army, which is over here now, so I feel like they were trying to move to uh, Karat Angazar. Alright. We're going to make this work. So you can move all the way up to here. Oh, you might just be outside of reinforcement range. Okay, well, nonetheless, we're going to move you up to there. And you... All right, good. We'll get reinforcements. So this army should fall. Or, you know, it'll... 
cower. Excellent. Ambush. We're gonna auto-resolve this. Easy win. Shouldn't take too much hurt. Just a little bit of damage here and there. Okay, see those Plague Monks. Not doing much. Not doing much at all. We'll take the food. Keep ourselves well nourished. The food situation, I'm glad to say, has finally been resolved. Luckstone, physical resistance 10% for Leopold the Silver. That's not bad at all. And an alchemist, enables poison attacks, casualty replenishment rate plus 5% for the Lord's Army, and a talisman of endurance, 15% board save. Jeez, that's a lot of little extras. I should maybe consider uh, reassigning some of those goods, as it were. But, with that out of the way, Arcane Conduit, that's an easy pick. I need that on the field. And Leopold. We could go Draft Master so we can pull Lightning Strike, prepare for the inevitable uh, arrival of the Warriors of Chaos. So let's do that. And Leopold. Oh, hey, these guys got Karakizor back. Or did they never lose it to the Wood Elves in the first place? Mysteries. Mysteries that we'll never have answers to. I could send the Menace up here to deal with uh, Carrot Hearn. And Leopold we could use against Wood Elves and humans and stuff. I feel like, yeah, a lot of anti-infantry. We've got some armor reduction and armor piercing. So, yeah, that might be a better place for him to be. And now Skeptic the Slave Lobber. Alright, fine. Let's do this. Abandoned camp. Your warriors stumble upon an encampment. Debris and spilled accoutrement suggest the original incumbents left in a hurry. Then a roar pierces the air. Something is coming. Scavenge what you can and scarper? Should that be scamper or scarper? Mushroom stew. Your army will perform better in battle. Okay. Or shiny boots and fresh recruits. Your army will perform better in campaign. Um... I feel like this is reduction in recruitment cost and better movement range, whereas this is going to be like better morale. So I'm going to go with... Oh, it actually tells me boost to morale, movement, and army-wide regeneration in battle. Okay. And this gives me movement range and replenishment. Let's go with the shiny boots and fresh recruits. Favorable winds and treasury. Excellent. Wish I could get to Retorka sooner. Um, no, they're too far. I was just worried about that army hitting me while I'm out to sea over here. There we go. We'll get Retorka next turn then. Barret Var. Uh, no, no, no. I think this... It's more essential. And you know what? We'll, uh... Maybe we do that quest battle. What do you guys say? You guys are saying yes, aren't you? I'm going to imagine you guys are saying yes. So, we're going to do the quest battle. Make sure we get it done before this session is over. And, of course, we're not in the right stance. Need to be in march or stalking, I guess. Oh, I'm not really garrisoning. What do you know? Step out. I want to make sure he's in Varenka Hills. This is him, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's take care of this quest battle finally. So, let's see. Warp Shard Armor. At last, Queek has the rival clan Warlord cornered. It is fitting that the boaster was found cowering underground, deep below ruins that may have been important to some wizard or other. Queek cares not. What matters is that the two will face off in battle, and the shiniest armor will be the Headtaker's own. Sounds good. This really shouldn't be an issue. I imagine. Teleport. Yes, I do. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, okay, this is kind of... Hilarious, but it's a quest battle, so I can't auto-resolve it, so we will have to fight it. And fight it, we shall. To the battlefield. <laughs> Says his armor is more special than mine, does he? Hmm? Then I will take steal it. I am quick. The best stuff shall be mine. <laughs> But cunning is this vermin, yes, yes. I will have to be wary. Make sure clan rats set off the traps. Better they die than me, me. Hmm? <laughs> Scurry forward now, now! Begin fight! Kill, kill! 
All right. Um, funny that he's talking about traps. Survey your army and choose a formation that advance quickly. Nobody got time for that. Moving on up. Get rid of these bad boys. All right, come on. Fire away. This really should be a non-issue of a battle. Okay, there they go. Already getting some routes, I think. <laughs> oh my god. Oof. Okay, take care of that thing. Alright, I mean, a Doom Wheel is always going to cause some hurt, so there's that. But I think it's given up already. Yep, already on its way out. Well, let's form up properly. What traps were they talking about? I haven't seen any yet. Who knows, maybe I missed some. Let's move forward a little bit. There we go. And you guys will just pile on behind. firing away, buddy. Keep firing away. Be the champ that you are. Okay, get these guys back here. Turn off their skirmish mode. Alright. Pop you in here, and let's get the lightning going on. Come on, come at me. Come at me. Alright. Is that my own Doom Willing? Okay, there is the enemy Lord. I wish there were some traps. I don't see any. Okay, make sure we're hitting that nonsense. Get these guys off to this side over here. Might as well. Go, go, clan rest. Distract the vermin surrounding us while I take my prize. What, what vermin surrounding us? Oh, I see. That's the trap? Okay. Alright. It's really a non-issue. Let's send him around, and let's see, what are you firing at? Fire at that, get you over here. Take some of this nonsense, keep these guys occupied. And let's get Broden up here. Took a good hit there. Fire away, charge into that nonsense. Okay, send everything in, keep going there. You go in here. Apparently my overconfidence is going to kill me. Send you in here. Come on. And let's pop this. Not yet. Alright, I'm not so worried about my overconfidence anymore. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to be fine. Get you guys in the back. Pull away. Get a rear charge in here. Come on. There we go. Uh, over here, why not? Get you guys in there. Okay. Open shots over here. Send you in. Why not? Let's try and get a charge in there. Come on, Broden. Pop these guys. Goes, yeah. Okay. Alright. Where where is he? Kill him. Kill him, come on. I guess I don't need to. Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> Decisive victory. Yeah, that was a non-issue. I wish you could auto-resolve those battles if the uh, balance of power was 
over by enough. It's like, what, a five-minute battle, a six-minute battle? Ah. All right. So there you have it. There is the quest battle uh, for Warp Shard Armor, I think it was called. <laughs> I don't even remember the name of the quest battle. I've, I've left this aside for so long. In fact, in my Vampire Counts campaign, I don't think I did a single quest battle. I might have done one quest battle, actually. Um, let's eat the captives, because that'll refill my entire army. And uh, given the situation I'm in, I think that's more important. So, eat captives, warp shard armor. At last, Queek has the rival, blah, 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 blah. We already read this. Okay, cool. Uh, extra, sure. Help it attendant. Warp shard armor gives us the negative 18 to armor nearby. The ward save as well. I mean, that's a pretty solid piece of armor. Not gonna lie. Let's make sure we've got it on. Next turn, it'll come in. Excellent. Brodent seems to have leveled up. All right. What do we want to give Brodent? Um, if I increase Warp Lightning, overcast it, increase number of missiles, so it'll cause more damage, and it... Does it reduce... Uh, wins cost? No. So it'll be a win cost of 10, which isn't terrible isn't terrible at all. Or I could get him... Uh, I don't really want to send him into uh, melee. His melee defense is really low. Really, really low. So let's get him an upgraded Warp Lightning. Just so I can do extra hurt when opportunity presents itself. And Queek Headtaker can actually push in to Karaz Akarak. And maybe I want to do that. Maybe I want to get these guys quivering a little bit in their boots. Their itty bitty boots. Yeah, we're in a good enough spot. Let's go in. We're going to build some uh, towers. Oh, that won't take very long at all. Oh, and I, re I recall, if I recall correctly, rather, there was a question about how I ended up with four towers in a siege battle. I think the Akendorf siege battle. It's because uh, Brodent the Warlock has an engineer or an architect or an engineer or something, which doubles how many you get per set. So you can see one Skaven Siege Tower gives me four. Uh, Battering Ram is still just one, though. Now, I'm pretty sure once we get the towers, we won't be in such a tough situation. Hopefully we don't have to fall back from this uh, <laughs> siege, though. Continue the siege. No Build some of those towers. Maybe starve some of these guys out a little bit. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. We'll play by ear. Down here, meanwhile, let's see. We're still waiting on a couple of things. These guys are busy. Um... That can't be built yet. Okay, just want to make sure that I've built those. There we go. Keeping an eye out for those walls. Velaya Sorrow. You know what? Might as well. You're out there. You're a little exposed. Might as well keep you safe. Pratt Tom, and why can't we? 3,000. Mm, that should be fine. All right. That is probably that turn. Yeah, these guys are going to move back up. Or move up towards me. Warp tech. Yeah, no. Can't specify which lords or anything. All right. Oh, actually, warp tech can uh, damage walls, so maybe I should have done that to Karaza Karak first. The only reason I really wanted to rush into... Uh, the siege there is because there are two armies and they're going to be garrisoning and whatnot, so. Great. <laughs> We're going to pull back. I don't want to. That's not a fight. I want to fight. Okay. We're good. These dwarfs, I swear. That's a problem. That is a problem. All right. Let's go after the pillars. They probably will still have reinforcements, but we can go after the Pillars of Grungni. Now that I have an extra reason to do so. Nice. This Sush guy is really good. I think every time he assaults a garrison, he comes out on top. Oh, just leave already. Come on. Why you gotta harass me like that? Goddamn, Wood Elves. Ooh, Talia has been destroyed. I wanted to do that. I guess the Beastmen just had their way with Talea and, uh, you know, those guys. I'm not going to complain. That's one less enemy I have to deal with. So that helps secure this border of mine. And you know what? I'm going to leave it as a buffer zone. 
buffer zones are important. So let it stay empty for now. Let there be ruins. We'll, we'll get it later. Also, guys, I just want to apologize real quick if I sound a little tired today. It's because I am. I do my best to not sound tired when I am. Um, that's hard, though. It's certainly not easy. But uh, I apologize if that's come across in any way. For example, my uh, my upsetness at that forest battle early on that I should have skipped, should have let auto resolve take care of. Uh, but yeah, it's been a, it's been an interesting week. I left of Northwell. You right ear on You want peace? You want war? Non aggression pact. I'll take it. I will take it. All right. Uh, lucky. Oh, nice. Hero self defense plus ten percent chance of winning aggressors. Nice. And what is this mission? Oh, whatever. Damage wall success. I'm aware of that. Hostile hero activity. Oh boy. Okay. Quick. So now. Um. You what? Yeah, these guys will have reinforcements from uh, Karaza Karak, which is a pretty what, what? scary army, to put it lightly. Let's pull Queek back to... Wondering where these guys might go. I mean, let's stay here. And we'll pop in an ambush stance. See what we can do. Maybe bait these guys into a fight. Actually, I don't know if that's far enough all right hopefully they'll they'll pop out and i'll be able to just ambush them and get rid of that army quickly over here meanwhile let's get the slave lobber at retorka let's get a little treasure hunt going on let's get to the slave lobber while searching through the ruins of this city almost leveled by war you notice an unfamiliar band of scavengers picking carefully through the ruins potentially this is not good as one wrong word could see you all dead how do you wish to proceed uh, i'm gonna have I seen this one before? Getting a sense of deja vu, but I could be wrong. I'm going to offer to help them search. Your gut feeling was correct. You join up with the scavengers to search the ruins. However, after a few hours, they disappear along with some of your belongings. What? That's a little frustrating. Fine. Take it. And I can't take this the same. Right, I cannot. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. The Menace of Mordheim, though. You. Gonna go on a little adventure, buddy. Gonna hit these guys. Give them a little visit. It'll go over pretty well, I'm sure. While... Where is that Chaos Army? Oh. Woemaker. That's not wrong. He's certainly making... Oh, God. Okay, Myrmidons. Get that going. To try and stay safe up here. Doc Karaz, one turn. At least Karat Angazar now has level 3 wall, so that's good. Let's try and get some more money coming in as well. We can afford it. You, Leopold. Where do I send you, Leopold? What do I do with you? Things are calming down over here. I don't think he can take Karak Izor on his own. Maybe he can take Faildorf. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh... Try and get to Faildorf. Took a bit of a risk there, going on a forced march, but it looks like we're okay. And Akendorf, what's your deal? Okay, still waiting there. Queek's waiting for this nonsense. All right, so here's the situation right now. So negative on the negative side, we've got. Our first experience with the Warriors of Chaos, they very quickly took care of Rotorka. Um, this is going to potentially be our second experience with the Warriors of Chaos. After they take Grown Teaming Null, they might push up and cause me some trouble down here, which is far from ideal, but we'll have these fortified entries ready to go. And hopefully we can fend them off. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, the bigger problem, what I'm really getting worried about, is actually the dwarfs down south here. They have made quite a stronghold for these for themselves. I mean, look at this. These guys still haven't hit Vulture Mountain. I've asked for that like 10 turns ago. God. Um, but yeah, you can see in the map as well. Take, take a look at their ownership. Look, look at that. They're creating a second home for themselves. They're, they're f Okay, there's some mountains here. 
I was going to say there were no mountains here, but there's there's a couple of mountains here. The rest of it's all desert. Since when did dwarves like deserts? Uh, so that's a bit of a problem. Overall, this session was a lot like the 13th one uh, in that I lost more than I gained. I mean, I managed to fend off a couple of armies. It's a good thing that Talea has been taken care of, but uh, yeah, not, uh, not the best spot. But we'll look to rectify that nice and early next session. Thank you guys very much for joining me. I hope you had a good time. If you did, as always, drop a like, drop a comment. Let's me know that you're enjoying this and that I should keep it going. It certainly looks like you guys are having a good time. And again, hopefully, when we're back in on Monday, I'm going to rename quite a few of these things. If you have more name suggestions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments, as always, of course. And uh, apart from that, I hope you have yourselves a wonderful weekend. Until next time, though, as always, that pretend glass of whiskey or scotch in my hand. Thank you very much for joining, and cheers.